Welcome to a tutorial video on Twine 2.6. In this video, I'm going to look at displaying using the rent macro within Sugarcube 2.36. So we were introduced to this section on messing with various ways to display things by looking at the include macro. We can include the contents of one passage in another. There is a classification of macros called displaying, one of which we've now learned how to use, the include macro. The second of which, and one of which we will increasingly use as we build more complex stories, is the print macro and its alias macro. So let me step back a second and talk about why we might want to use these particular macros. What we've previously seen when we work with things like the link macro, that it runs silently. And this is an important term as we discuss the categories of macros and concepts associated with displaying different things. When a macro runs silently, it ignores all output. It doesn't produce any output whatsoever. We've already seen this with the link macro. As we start to think about this, there might be cases where we want things to run silently, and there might be other cases where we want to create some type of more complex output. We might want to print things in the passage. So to help with that, there are two macros that are aliases of each other. So we can use the print, and we can also use an alias of it I will also cover in this video. The reason why we might want to use the print macro is again to create some type of output. Especially these are useful as we work with different expressions. So we've previously seen how we can work with the set macro to create an assignment expression. That is, we can assign the value to some variable. We've also worked with mathematical or arithmetic expressions where we can do different things. We can add numbers, multiplication, or divide different things. Let me pull up an example right here. So we've seen expressions like this, 2 plus 2. When we work with a print macro, it will print the result of that expression. So what we can do then is there might be situations where instead of creating a new variable and then showing the value of that variable, we can just do complex math or other things using the print macro. And this is incredibly powerful within Sugarcube. So let me go ahead and start the story with the 2 plus 2, although we can right here assume what the answer will be 4. So that's all well and good, and we could do lots of mathematical things, but let's look at a slightly different example. So I mentioned it works with expressions. One of the things we can use within expressions is, of course, the value of a variable. So notice right here I'm using an assignment expression to set up the value of a variable. Right here we have a story variable example set to the value 10. And then right here I'm printing example plus 10. This may seem a little bit silly, but it's incredibly important because there might be situations where we have statistics within our interactive stories that are set up as different values. So we might have out of 100 or out of 10 or maybe 5 or any number of other things. There might be cases, though, where we want to present that information to a reader in different forms. That is, we might want to present percentages or other ways of thinking about it. For that, we can use the print macro. We can create complex output for a reader based on some other existing value. And we just saw an example of that. 2 plus 2, and we saw 4. In this case, we have example, which is the value 10 plus 10, which will print out for us the value of 20. Right here. And this is a great example of where the print macro is incredibly useful. Because again, we can store data in a particular way and present it in a different way. We don't have to strictly use the value of the variable. We can use the print macro to present it in a different way. So let's look at an example of that right here in example three. So notice that internally, it says health is four, set health to four. However, I'm going to present it to the reader as a percentage out of a total of 25. So you have print health divided by 25, multiplied by 100 to get a percentage. So this is a particularly useful case, as I've mentioned before, where the data is one thing, but the presentation is another. And again, this is where displaying and especially the print macro really comes into play. So let's go ahead and look at this, and then I'll wrap this video up by looking at one other example here using the alias to the print macro. So let's go ahead and start the story right here and you have 16% health remaining. So remember, data is one thing, presentation is another. We don't have to strictly use the value of the variable, we can present it or print it in a different way.
So finally, let's end this on looking at one other thing. So I keep mentioning the idea of the print macro. There's actually an alias to this, which is relatively rare within SugarCube, where we can use a shorthand form of print. So instead of writing the word print, we can use the equal sign instead. And this does the exact same thing as print, works the exact same way. It's just an easier shorthand for some authors if they prefer to use it. Again, they work exactly the same. So notice the code we just saw in example three, now written in example four, using this alias. So if I go ahead and change the story start to example four, build and play, we notice we have 16% health remaining. The exact same output, but a different macro form. And again, relatively rare within SugarCube, there are some macros that have aliases. Print happens to be one of them. So let me review what I've talked about in this video. We've looked at the print macro which by itself doesn't necessarily seem that powerful, but it increasingly allows us to create more complex output. We can use expressions with it. That is, we can do various calculations, and as we'll see in several videos down the line, start to create even more complex output with it, based on our knowledge of how macros work together. Again, we've seen previously how the include macro can include the contents of one passage and another, now with the print macro, we can print various expressions, or the result of those expressions, I should say. We can add numbers together, we can create percentages, and increasingly do more complex things based on our knowledge of how other existing macros work. So this is the first video to kind of get our taste of how this macro can work, and it will become important much later as we work with other things within SugarCube. But the print macro in its alias, the equal or what's called the display macro, is incredibly useful for a number of different things as we start to think about how displaying things work within SugarCube. Sometimes we may want things to run silently, other times we may want to create the output by ourselves, and this is where the print macro is extremely useful within SugarCube 2.36 within Twine 2.6. Thanks for watching.